Others face getting kicked out of the country. The Art Institute of California's San Diego campus announcing today that it may shut down in just 24 hours. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Steve Atkinson. New at 5, students tell our tenders reporter Amanda Brandeis leadership should be ashamed about how they handle the closure. Students here at the Art Institute tell me the writing was on the wall, from bathrooms going unmaintained to staff being let go. Now they say they're left feeling hopeless. They pretty much just threw Actually, gasoline on a gasoline fire already. Every student came here with their own dream. I thought it was a new beginning. You can't imagine uh, what my family did to make it happen. I was supposed to graduate next quarter. Despite noticing changes in the last year, students wanted to believe everything would be okay. We could see the cracks in the walls when a lot of the department heads were let go and they had one person running all the programs. The bathrooms start looking like something out of a horror movie. In July, the Art Institute in Mission Valley stopped enrolling new students and new court documents reveal the company which oversees the school is accused of misusing millions of federal dollars. Students say they only got two days of warning that the school was closing and are now scrambling to figure out their options. I had a rough path, you know, um, a lot of people didn't accept me for who I am growing up and I finally found a place where they accept me for who I am, but plus accept me for my art. Stefan Harris was a student and employee at the school. Yeah, I'm used to rejection, but this is different because I'm not the only one getting rejected in this situation. Omer Aldarawish is an international student. If he doesn't find a transfer school in 60 days, he'll be deported. It feels like no one really care about your life and career. Harris says for months the administration gave them false hope and says now it was all a lie. Ain't nobody buying us. We're orphanage, okay? We got thrown out in the rain. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Uh, Stefan says it well. The school sent us a statement saying in part they are working to provide as many options as possible to students like transferring to another school or student loan discharge. And as we take a live look right now at this room, that's where about 100 students are meeting right now with the California Office of Student Assistance and Recovery. It is their chance to ask about how to get loan forgiveness. There are also representatives from other local community colleges that can answer questions about transferring. You're going to hear what they have to say on later editions of 10 